We, ju- we just don't know. We've never seen this before and all, everything. And I said, this is all I know is that once I was lame. But now I walk again. Look at this scripture. Rejoice not against me, oh my enemies. For when I fall, I shall arise. Why don't somebody shout in this house and thank God for restoring faith in the hearts of God's people. Oh, come on, come on. The restoring faith. Oh, come on, revival of faith in the hearts of God's people in this hour. I thank you right now, Lord. The uncomfortable seat of the high Oh, the Italian, you, come on. Wow. Holy God, why don't somebody just rejoice and give him praise and thank you. Clap your hands and magnify the Lord for what he has done and is presently doing. Thank the Lord for it. Amen. Brother Dylan asked me today if I'd take the offering tonight, and I said, sure. Amen. And he uh, told me the figure that was needed. And we, I come to church tonight expecting to receive $10,000 in the offering which is nothing that's easy and I was all excited about it man that's that's easy huh oh yeah I won't. she's got me fired up so I was, walked in and sister Dylan said man of God how much are we going to get in the offering tonight and I said well I think they said if we got 10 that'd be great she said not 10, 40. Oh boy. Where'd everybody go? Y'all were shouting about empty wheelchairs a while ago. <laughs> See, here's what tickles me there's a miracle in finance. Now, last night, Brother Smith invoked the spirit of Goshen in this place. How can you put a price on the testimonies that you've just heard? How can you put a price on it? And a part of this end time church is a restoration of Book of Acts giving. Might as well give it. It's all going to be worth nothing before long anyway. I know you don't believe that, some of you, but that's true. Amen. You know why Jerusalem was gripped with such giving? It's because God moved on them because in just a little while, Titus was going to ransack the city. They're going to lose it all anyway. Now, you just believe whatever you want to believe. But the good part about it is, is while there's darkness in Egypt, there was light in Goshen. God is going to take care of his people until he comes. Somebody said amen. It's going to be a quick offering here tonight. The spirit and the gift of faith is in this place tonight. Now, listen, here's what I need. There's people here that could give 20, 25,000, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000. We got a list of sponsors. People's already given, and we thank the Lord for every church, ministry, person that sponsored this. If you would like to be a sponsor of Apostolic Conference, we have envelopes prepared. Matter of fact, if I had some ushers ready, if you'd like to be a sponsor of Apostolic Conference, I think that's 1500 correct? All right, it's broke down on here. Silver, gold, and platinum, another amount. I like the other amount. Amen. But I'm just asking you to do what the Holy Ghost would want you to do. I don't have any stories to tell you. don't have any jokes to tell you. Just going to say, this is a good field. And it's a good place to sow seed. And I'm going to help some of you right now. If the only place that you sow seed is in your local church, you're going to have a really limited harvest. Are you listening to me? But when you learn to sow seed in another field, in another place, trust me, 
the law tells us that your field's not going to always be in a perpetual state of producing. But somewhere in the world, the field is. And if you'll invest in fields outside your local church, amen. Trust me, you can't live in a more expensive place than San Francisco. Manhattan's number one, San Francisco's number two. But I told our people, we cannot afford not to invest in this meeting because of the reward, not the financial reward, but being able to know that we help these home missionary and church planners take this gospel. After all, if we do believe that Acts 2.38 is the saving message, then we need to do everything we can to make sure we get this message into these cities. Would you agree with me? Amen. Father, I ask you right now in your name to move across this congregation. I ask that you speak to the hearts of men and women in this place tonight. 